to me, Shelby. Um, I just wanted to say, like, wow, first of all. First, I wasn't able to do a headstand in like years because I didn't have any core strength or any kind of strength at all, really. Like I thought I did because I was a dancer or whatever. But now I can really do it. And that was the first time that I could like lift myself up like fully, like off, like from like letting my knees go from my elbows and actually straightening up a little bit and like lifting one leg at a time. So that was like a first for me because I've been doing some core work at the gym. I've been doing my sit-ups, crunches. I do Russian twists. I've been doing that little machine where you can, you can just, you know, your body is just, it's just, you're, you're just lifting your own weight and you're like, you're doing these or like these. So like I've been really working on my core. I've been doing some squats. I've been doing that adductor um, machine. And you know, I do this cause it's good for um, moving the lymph, especially after you wake up cause we're so stiff and sore. So it's like just, you know, to stretch, get out of bed and move your body and let the blood flow, let the chi flow throughout your body is super, super important. Um, yeah, I just wanted to give you guys some vibes, you know, like even I'm surprising myself because I'm like, ooh, I, I like this, you know, era Shelby is stepping into. So yeah, I'm just going to vlog my day and just give you immaculate vibes and pixie dust. So I hope you enjoy. Mwah. spotlight on it I originally made this one for my brother so he's gonna take that back to him with not with he's gonna take that picture back with him to Oklahoma so that's just a big large space that needs to be filled so I'm gonna take it down and put it with his stuff in the dining room put up my paintings because obviously it looks so bland the wall just looks you know like there's nothing and I do not like that it looks void so I'm going to put them up Here's a close-up, so you guys can see. This is what I'm having for breakfast. Apple, I'm not gonna probably eat the whole thing. I just slice it up. Banana, mango, some tea. And I'm on my cycle today. It started today. So I'm gonna have the yummy tea. I probably I'm gonna have this because it has butterfly pea, rose jasmine, and hibiscus. I'm gonna put a little bit more hibiscus in there because I just I just like it. Hibiscus is very hydrating, very good for the wound, very good for the root chakra. So yeah, I just use these because I don't have, you know, I don't have, you know, those tea bag filter things so I just use this a little bit of there get some 
I'm probably about to do everything here because I'm having, you know, slight cramps. And I'm probably going to take the Tylenol because I really do not want to be in pain because I want to go to the park, you know, and just chill out, frolic in the, in the trees and the sun because it's been beautiful weather lately. So not only am I putting in that, I'm putting in my Clarity Tea that I made, which has lavender, chamomile, and peppermint. I'm just gonna put just a little bit, a little razzle dazzle, just for that calming effect. And then I'm just kind of twist it like this. Take a staple. And then I take some scissors and I cut this, and then I boop. So here's what it looks like. And it floats a little bit. Then I add sugar. I like sweet, so I like a little bit of sugar in here. And I just kind of squeeze it on the side so the flavor can seep and This is going to be today's fit. This is my mom's pants and I just tried them on and they fit me so I'm gonna wear them because I wanna look cute and you know I'm usually not a dinner person but I do enjoy a good low rise and these are like mid-rise and I do like mom jeans but you know I'm back in my jean era so these are it's very sexy. Here's the belt. It's got like this faux fur. I don't know if it's faux or real, but who knows? <laughs> who knows? Knowing Texans, it's probably real. I don't know, but I think where did my mom get this? Oh, well, it says genuine leather on the back. I have been gaining weight and muscle. Ugh. Like, I'm a size medium, but like, okay, here we go. Oh, and it's not too tight. Oh, oh yeah, it looked good. Keep my belly beads. Hey there. I'm gonna put it up in the ponytail. Cause this is gonna make the fit look super sexy. Put it all, put it all up in there, just on one band, because I do not like to double tie it, because I do not like my hair feeling super tight, especially while my locks are still relatively short. Do not start. Don't stop. Nineties look where everyone had their little cute little top knot and they just had their hair like that, you know. So yeah, here's the fit. Here's a, I see that Cleo. Oh, I got duct tape on the ground, but I'm wearing these shoes. They're from Walmart because I don't got no money for Birkenstocks yet. <laughs> but I do want to invest in a good pair because you know I like quality. You know, you know stuff that lasts long. I mean, and these are lasting pretty, pretty long too. So I mean, go Walmart. Always wash your fruit. Oh, okay. I'm probably about to just. I'm just gonna eat. 
about this much because i mean i love apples but sometimes they can be a little bit much and they honestly fill me up like really quickly so i don't and plus i only got three and i need to share with the family so Oh, wow. That is delicious. I like to cut it so I can just like eat it like that. my little angel so beautiful and my tea see now she's all steeped in you can see the color yummy i had to take that belt off it was way too tight and now i have a crystal a fluorite on my womb space because i have little cramps so i'm just kind of resting before i go to the park and yeah <laughs> Everybody and their mamas was parked. And I'm glad I, you know, I literally found a space to park at too. So, Kiki, <laughs> we're here. love nature i love the sun i love myself i feel so beautiful and divine look at my skin even though i'm on my period like my face is broke out but now i'm glowing like <laughs> i just love mama nature and i appreciate you and all your beauty and all your glory and i am a part of it and we are all of a part of it you know <laughs>
sometimes these moments are bittersweet because in these moments I would love to have friends, brothers and sisters to enjoy these moments with, you know? And I am completely alive and I love being alone and I love being in my own space, but I do wish and yearn for the times where I can connect with other people and share space, sacred space and communion with others. You know, it's a bittersweet moment. Like I love being alone in nature. I love being on the wild side. I just wish I had people I could spend time with and share laughter and play and frolic. And <sighs> sometimes it just makes me melancholy, but I, I'm trying not to be sad because I am get, trying to get out of a little depression, but yeah. As I was saying that there is a little butterfly that passes me by. So, you know, nature is my friend and I love nature. I love Mama Earth and I'm so appreciative. But I, I just yearn for human connection. I always have ever since I was a kid. You know, I've always wanted to play with others, but I was so shy and quiet and then I was bullied on top of that. So then it just forced me to just keep everything to myself. And, you know, I'm getting to a point where I don't want that anymore. I'm 23. Like, I should have friends to adventure and travel the world with. And, you know, I should have friends that support me and that I support them. It's just I've always attracted people that used me in some kind of way, whether it's for my energy or for my presence, because people know that I have that I'm a good person, you know, and my intentions are always pure. And I'm always supportive and, and I'm always loving, but it's just I could never find people to resonate and reciprocate that energy back. So I've, I've just been on this long journey of healing connections with friends and stuff like that. And I, there's people that know me and we might talk every once in a blue moon, but it's like I don't like friendships that are like that. I like consistency. I want friendships that are consistent. Like, we don't have to talk every single day, but like I want to talk every single day because that's just what I want for myself. I want friends that we can talk to, play with, laugh with. I can call up if I need them. You know, who who is there for me to call besides my partner? I love my partner. I love him to life. But it's like, I want some girlfriends. Like, I need feminine energy, you know? Like, I'm air dominant, so I'm masculine dominant. So it's like... And it's interesting because my partner, he's Taurus dominant, honestly. So he's more feminine dominant, Scorpio moon. So we, we balance each other, but it's like I still need feminine energy for biologically women and sisterhood. So I just, I just, I really yearn for that. Like spirit already knows I've been praying for this ever since I was 14 for, you know, divine connections with sisters and brothers. So I just hope this wish and dream comes to fruition of me finding people that I can connect with on a really deep sacred divine level ashe and amen then on top of that like I do have people that I know and we sometimes talk again like once in a blue moon but it's just like they have their own friends like that's always happened like even in high school I would make friends and then it would be it would seem that I finally have a best friend and then it's just like that best friend then finds a new friend and then they're best friends now and then it just feels like i never have a place anymore in their life and that idiot and then that's just what happens now like i just feel like i have no place in other people's life so and sometimes it just makes me feel like i don't exist to people so and you know I i'm here i'm here on the earth i'm here in the world and i'm trying to shine my magic and shine my light as best as I can so that's why I turn to YouTube because honestly I'm just talking to myself and I always talk to myself and I am my own friend so that's where it starts you have to be your own friend that you would like to receive so I hope that with me speaking this would hopefully allow me to attract people who are in divine alignment with where I am in life as well. So trying to get this tattoo covered up because I feel like that also is blocking my blessings and is blocking for people to you know approach me and I don't like that. I got I got that when I was like 18. So I've been 
it's been like five years of me having that so I feel like that does you know block me from having people come up to me like I'm not scary I'm not a scary evil demonic or satanic type of person like I'm very divinely aligned with God it's just it's just I don't know why the tattoo guy made it an inverted pentagram like I asked for a pentagram pentacle or whatever like you know that symbolizes you know the five elements you know earth wind fire water and spirit that's what it means to me but because it's inverted it you know represents the carnal and i do not align with that so i'm gonna change it to the hopi labyrinth which means sacred you know this is divine paths and spirituality and things like that and alignment it's a few days later and i'm not as melancholic as i was I, I was watching those videos like that just passed i'm like oh my god i sound so <laughs> melancholic but it's like that's the inner some that's just what i go through sometimes and i'm pretty sure we all have these inner dialogues or just sometimes we're just flooded with immense like questioning of life and purpose and you know so what was needed for me was like i was learning more about like christianity and i was kind of like not getting sucked into it but i was like okay there's some truths here like you know like I, I believe in like sin and you know honor thy neighbor and like there's a lot of scriptures that are like beautiful and like have value and stuff but it's like i don't it's just like to say that crystals bring demonic energy is like pushing it and like because it's like no it does not like it's nature and i just don't believe that like just because i have crystals doesn't mean i'm demonic in any kind of way like they're just beautiful and it's god's creation and they do have energy like i'm more if i had to put a religion on myself i would be more animist you know like you know i love this like the spirit of the trees and like it's like before christianity like christianity is still fairly new it's still a fairly new religion like we've had ancestral connection with nature for tens of thousands of years before christianity even existed before people even knew who jesus was like so it's like i'll agree with some things you know the bible is a beautiful book i'll agree with some things but i'm not about to like because like i feel like any religion is kind of like a cult you know if um, i'm not gonna get too deep in it because i mean we can open the discussion but i'm ugh. And I'm still science minded too. Like science can explain a lot of things, but I'm more, I'm just spiritual. Like I'm not gonna like tie myself to a religion and follow something like a cult. Like, no, I'm free. I have free will and I'm a sovereign being just as I am. And I'm beautiful and I'm not gonna 